Well, 4.51 in the afternoon for a Sunday, August 20th, 2023, the Roseman, California area. This is the Diary of the Griever, named John Weaver, which would be me. What's going on, guys? Yeah, the news are going ape over to Tropical Storm Hillary coming through, and everyone's having connection fits, but we still haven't had any major problems with it. However, out in San Diego County, there was one particular area called Pine Valley. There was some rotation in the clouds that had potential of a tornado sighting, but no damage. So far, that uh, storm cell moved off. And they're still predicting more um, heavy-duty rain and wind coming through. But so far, this thing's been a, a sleepover. The only thing we actually had an interest in a little bit of shaking, I know why. That's about it. I've seen light, steady rain to almost near medium. But not the heavy duty pouring down from the heavens and ready to flood your ass out. This has been a cakewalk out here in the Antelope Valley. Now, there may be certain sections of the Antelope Valley on the east side of us and further that we haven't had any issues with. Uh, I'll take that back. I'll tell, let, let me reverse that. My section of the Antelope Valley, we have a cakewalk. East side of us going from Edwards and further east and then extending up in the uh, north and southern area in that particular narrow region. Yeah, we've got it. There's been high wind and flood zones like crazy. We're just flagged for high winds, but not as much in the flooding because of our geography and the topography we have over here. But everywhere else, street flooding. There has been some bit of slides, a uh, bit of mudslides along the 14 freeway. Um, in certain sections where the freeway is not elevated, but the overhangs are. And they are getting more of it. Basically, right now, we're waiting for it. Now, San Fernando Valley, they may be getting uh, the Sepulveda Dam shut down already because, you know, they're getting street flooding out there, too. And that's about normal for the area. Uh, between Oxnard and Victory, between Sepulveda and all the way through White Oak, or at least up to Balboa, anyway. But they're shut down in that area because it's a, it's a flood zone. So there are going to be flooding streets in the San Fernando Valley left and right. Uh, maybe some flooding out in some of the other low-lying areas of the city of Los Angeles and maybe L.A. County if we're lucky. Or, I can't say lucky. Um, it's nasty, though, but it still reminds me of the El Ninos that we had back in the 80s and 90s where we had actually had winds and we had high pounding surf and we had damaged piers. So I'm looking at the storm and I'm thinking, with the amount of precipitation we've got right now as it is, it hit the colder areas. It didn't hit, hit enough warm area or enough moisture to keep the storm generated. They say it's a fast moving one. Okay, fine. But she's going to run right over us without drowning us one. Now, if she was slow moving, that's one thing. But a fast mover, hey, that's the ones you got to look for. You hit and run, and that's about it. Give you light rain, but they don't stay and pour it on. Like I've seen some of the other hurricanes coming through the East Coast. They got the energy. They got the momentum. They got whatever it needs, and they pour it on. This is light, steady stuff. But even light, steady stuff will have an effect with our geography. Actually, with our geology, anyway. Uh, soil erosion, maybe a little bit. In certain areas. Top it off, we had a little bit of a, a little bit of a shake around the OI, the OI area. It's about a five point, five point one, I think. So yeah, we felt it over here. Although we, even as far away as Bakersfield, they felt it. And it's like, okay, fine, five pointer. That's a good, that's a good size shocker to wake the hell out of you up. But the problem is out here in Southland, uh, actually out here in the desert region. We felt the shaking, but not as bad. 
we felt a rolling. That's about it. So there really wasn't that much except for people talking about it. That's about it. So yeah, we felt it. The thing is, I was expecting out of this damn storm system, with all this damn energy coming through, is whether or not we're actually going to be getting any lightning and thunder. Or if we're really going to be getting a thunderstorm out of it, damn thing. I mean, there had been some rumblings, but man, they passed us. On its mad rush towards the north. And actually, northeast sector, so. I think rest of the Antelope Valley, the worst is over. I ain't say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. So, as I'm listening to all the city and local officials just from La from City of Los Angeles and Los Angeles County going, I, at least I know some of the uh, rivers in the city of Los Angeles are getting flooded out. We have um, flooded out streets, certain areas, and that's damaging enough as it is. But for right now, in the morning, it'll be probably be sunny. We'll get through the night. I'll sleep through the damn shit. Wake up, and then I got to deal with COVID tests. Once I test out, okay. I once I test out negative for the bug, I'll be getting some information off of whatever I can. Send it over to the to the school so Wednesday I can go back to class because Monday we're already off. Uh, got to make arrangements with Dialeride as not picking me up tomorrow. So I have to call him up about five thirty again. Hopefully I'll get maintenance over here to take a look at the refrigerator. See, these things actually have a relevance. Not not this huge-ass storm coming through where everyone else is having conniption fits left and right. And if we actually have any more aftershocks or maybe it's a foreshock for another quake, that'll get me interested. That'll get me uh, really interested on that one. For right now, it's almost 5 o'clock. I think I'll just take a nap.